All right, I'm heading to my car. I'm gonna go grab some chocolate milk. Uh, I did good on my math quiz today, like really good. I, you have 10 minutes on them and I finished it in under four minutes. I've never been that quick to not only, like it wasn't that I finished in four minutes. I had finished and checked my work and submitted at that time, which was really good. Uh, but physics is annoying. <laughs> And I thought today I was going to be able to get some fun coding in, uh, maybe look at some more internships, see, because I had all this extra time. I only had physics and math to do. Well, physics took two and a half hours to do seven problems because they're stupid. And uh, I haven't even done math yet, so that's fun. Um, but... <sighs> yeah. Might get some sleep. Hey, dear Zay. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, everybody, too. You finally enlisted in the army. You can drink alcohol. Whatever, that's 18. You, you should have already done 21. that. You can't drink until you're 21, but you can enlist in the army. You can rent a car. Not really. And you'll probably be drinking. Still oh, in the army. Now that you're 16, you can finally get a driver's license. Now All right, this has been a pretty fun birthday, uh, meaning I've not done that much homework. Uh, I'm mainly been just doing stuff that is somewhat homework. I mean, I was planning on doing it at some point. But it's, I'm saving all the more boring stuff for later and making sure to treat myself nicely uh, today. Uh, they sang happy birthday to me at lunch and dinner, which was nice. And the lab was pretty straightforward for physics. We're gonna, when David gets back from climbing, we're gonna watch Deadpool 2, which I'm looking forward to. But as you saw in uh, the time lapse I did, and in for another hour and a half I've done now, is I've just been coding. And I, I never thought I'd love coding, but I, I really do like this a lot, actually. And um, yeah. Yeah, so I've been doing this and I'll, I'll I can explain it 
maybe later, but this was all written today. And now I'm going to take apart the display and set up the stuff for this to see if I can test it. And I'll do another time lapse of that, probably roughly the same speed. Well, <laughs> God blessed me in that my butt didn't hurt at all during my birthday. Yay! But then from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. today, I could not sleep. I did a, go through some more internships and applied to one more. So now I'm at 44 internships. But, uh... <laughs> I am very tired. I hope I can do well on my math quiz today because then I most likely won't have to take the final exam. My math quiz is, but like I'm confident. I know the topic, but I don't know. Sometimes stuff can go wrong. Yeah. Don't know if I have any homework for math today. No, I don't think I do. It would just be studied for the exam. If I do it, then I will have physics. Uh, I think I study for the engineering quiz tomorrow and get a help sheet for that. But other than that, I don't think I've got anything else. I'm not sure. So, we got our physics tests back. And he went on this big spiel about uh, how the average was a li uh, 70 ish and anything above 70 like is good that means you have mastered like three-fourths because these were difficult problems to test your mastery these were you mastered three-fourths of the topics and you should be proud of that and then he was going on and like there was one fluke but everyone one fluke that got over 100 but everyone else was under 
uh, was again average around 70, 80 ish. So he's handing out the tests, and I'm like, we, there's an opportunity to get, he talked about this afterward, but there's an opportunity to correct your mistakes and get a fourth of your questions you got wrong back correct. Um, but I was, <sighs> I, I got the test back and I'm like, I'm expecting an 80. Uh, I studied harder. I'm expecting an 80. If I get maybe like a 70, I I can be happy with that. Well, I get my test back and oh no! Wait, shoot! It's backwards. Uh, I got 103. <laughs> I only missed two points, so I would have got 98. But I but I did two extra credit problems in the back, and I got five points from that so I got if I switch cameras here so 103 I got these initial questions right uh, these questions here uh, this is uh, dimensional analysis some easy kinematics and uh, larger kinematics equation and another one doing with forces uh, that one was all right and this one here I definitely I didn't think I got right because this is again more force than I'm hard with and this didn't seem reasonable <laughs> 33 kilograms and when it one, they're like 1.25 around that range and then 43.5 was a huge number and then this was the answer to this one and I got it complete I got it right except I just I got everything right I just forgot to add the angle uh, because you have your acceleration the magnitude but you need the angle what in what direction is the acceleration so that would have just been a inverse tangent of this over that wait yeah of this over that and I would have gotten the angle and gotten 20 out of 20 for that and then these were the extra credit questions this one I didn't think I was going to get but I still tried it anyway and I actually got the right number I just didn't convert it to a mass <laughs> the uh, mass I had it in Newtons, I, all I would have to divide by is the, uh, by this here. And then this is like a, uh, memory verse from class. It's kind of, kind of crazy. I did, I felt bad about, I didn't want to brag. I didn't brag. People were bragging for me. Because uh, I was the fluke, which is kind of insane. But um, I did not expect to do that well because I studied for it. And I guess taking it, I guess taking the quiz, I felt pretty good about. I mean, the test, I felt like I was understanding concepts and I went through it pretty fast. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't feel mastery masterful I still wasn't there were still tons of questions coming up on the practice problems I was were going through that I'd have to look up because I wouldn't know the solution to so I think I got fairly lucky with the questions we had because they were mostly similar to ones we've done before and even the extra credit one on the back I for a while had no idea how to do it but then somehow I actually got it right which is kind of crazy but that that's a good feeling that's a really good feeling um, so now I'm going to study math I can't believe I really can't believe I did that well uh, that's insane
like that's real that makes me really happy because I studied hard for that but I was not expecting like, that kind of a grade I wish I got them both right, obviously, but can't win them all. I did good on my physics quiz, and I think I'm going to understand math. I just need to stop by his office hours. physics and this was perhaps the shortest amount of time it's taking me to complete a physics assignment because this topic is relatively easy e easier than the last stuff we've gone to um, but my butt really does hurt and I'm not that tired I don't know when David's planning on going to bed but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep with my butt so I think I want to work on Arduino code. I don't really know what else. Might be good worth of my time. I guess I could prep for d and I could read the D&D book. I'm just thinking of what I could do in the middle of the night. If I wake up again. Or maybe I could work on our Maker's MCD. I don't know. Study here. All right. Oh, I. It's a good day to have my PT because it really hurts. It's back to like the worst it's been with the leg too. But I just had my phone interview for the Kenworth Trunking Company, and it went good. I'm moving on to the next stage, where I actually have a phone, I mean a video interview with the 
trunking with the hiring person and supervisor and that will be Monday. Oh. Oh. learned how to use the sheet metal laser cutter which should be cool for uh, for our MCD project um, it was, my butt's been hurting really bad today like almost the worst it's been but I think finally the uh, ibuprofen has kicked in and I'm feeling better now but yeah, it's, it's been rough. Okay, just got back from... Oh, we do have a video? I thought we didn't. Yeah, this is... That was on the last one. Oh. should check our answers see if we got them right but um go back from physical therapy and it went good um the guy who, who is uh the person running it for me the head the head guy uh he we came across a couple things uh one is that I've been doing when you do these stretches, you're not supposed to feel pain in the area. Every time I've done stretches with other places and I say like, oh, I feel it back there. They're like, okay, yep, do that one. So when I was given a whole bunch of stretches and three of them, I felt pain back there. Those were the only three I did, but that was actually what I wasn't supposed to do. And then when I've been doing stairs, that's actually the worst <laughs> I should not be doing stairs stairs are actually the worst thing to do for the area uh, thanks uh, George Fox School of Physical Therapy and I've got really tight uh, pelvis and spine spine movement so I can't do much there and then it's actually pretty rare to have a guy, uh, a male, and at my age have this specific problem, which makes me feel a little special. Not really. Kind of. Um, oh, and then the last thing was, I figured it out, but it makes, he verified it that the ibuprofen, the Tylenol actually won't do anything for my pain. So all those times I'd take it during the, in the middle of the night because I wasn't eating anything, that was actually doing anything. When I took the ibuprofen right before bed, when I ate like some snacks with it and stuff, that was the stuff that actually helped me, help the pain and help me sleep. <sighs> yeah. Cheerios, oh my god. Like a foot deep. Oh, he's got eyes, I didn't even realize. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, heading to bed now. Uh, my butt is starting to hurt a bit more now. Just took some more ibuprofen, so that should have helped me last through the night. But I did it was fun tonight. Um, hopefully I can. I'm fairly confident I can get my notes done for math in the morning but I'm pretty tired now so I'm gonna try to go to bed but D&D &D was fun 
got to burn down a building for <laughs> I got to burn down Caswell's building but I found out the cause and uh <sighs> And they went to Bolo and got the deed to the uh, worn down mansion. But they had yeah, plans to refurbish it. They brought their families to it. And it should be cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna see if I can get some sleep. All right, I'm heading to the Diffy Q cast. Wish me luck. I'm fairly confident I did. I I don't know if I've actually ever said this on the video yet or not, but I think I did all right on the math quiz. Um, but. I've just been doing some homework, just did some tear down for choir, and my hair is kind of crazy, I need to get a haircut at some point soon, at some point, uh, but I'm just going to press go and just play some random melodies that I make up, and I think it would be cool to have, uh, have it logged somewhere. Yeah. Ugh.
of your family. We're your family. Don't do it. Okay, uh, well first off, chopping wood was a ton of fun today. Again, I really like doing that. And it was just like three guys this time because they didn't have the George Fox people come and they had to make this load so we had to first throw in all these pieces of wood into the dump truck and they were really grateful that I was there. But then because we didn't have any splitters, all it was is one guy would just chainsaw a little divot for me, I'd split it, and then the other guy would, would move it out of the way. That was cool, we just had this little assembly line that was going in, it was fun. And now, I've just spent an hour trying to figure out what was wrong with my code. I was just looking up internet stuff and it's hard to figure out, like, people have asked these questions before, but it was so hard to figure out what was wrong and how to ask the internet but I finally did and I just found out that all I had to do was add an AND sign in front of my custom function parameters in order for them to update the variable inputs rather than just creating duplicate copies of them. Uh, for, those, for my dad and other myself later uh, you'll understand what I mean. Sorry mom for, for not... Ooh, that's kind of cool. A cool... Uh, uh, like orientation anyway uh, I think I'm just going to be doing this for the most majority of the day I don't have that much homework which is kind of crazy but I feel like I'm getting stuff done if I do this oh <laughs> See if it's all in frame. Well, there's kind of someone sitting on the bed like me. That. Oh, there's kind of someone else. Wait, what? <laughs> what? On top? Yeah, they're both fully clothed, but but still. And they're going like. <laughs> no, they weren't moving. <laughs> they're just. It's like, are you Mormon? It's like your day. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, because as long as it's not kind of soaking. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yep. Our MCD meeting. <laughs> it's going Getting our uh, laundry. Dang, I don't know can you do the thing where you like bring your oh, feet up? Oh, jeez. That's impressive. Can you do the thing where you like bring your toes up? Like no. Well, what, what you just tried to do. Okay. Now for the video, do the f the f the the bird, the dodo bird, the stick your butt out, Daddy. That's not a dodo. I don't know, I just think of like the ostrich. <laughs> Zaid Fagathol. Alright, we're good. Subscribe and like. Leave a comment.
help your neighbors to the Susquehanna chemical plant. <gasps> yeah, yes, more. But walking around. With, with your eyes closed. Wait, dude, are you your eyes are closed. Huh? Are you taking a video of who's getting attacked? <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Come on. I'll close my eyes and I won't look at the video. My phone will be there. Okay. I have to watch this. close your eyes to settle in. Should we make noise? Just to not uh, get your footprints? Friday, the 13th. The oh. close, close your eyes. <laughs> And you wake up quiet, quiet and restful, and you all open your eyes. Did you choose a detective? And go about on your daily business. How, wait, how did someone know the difference? Yeah. How do we know the difference between? Detective and killer. I'll just slap that. you over your head. Oh, you haven't tagged yet. No. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, no. <sighs> Wait, what? Just so you guys know, I'm not detective. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. So just that's kidding. Back okay. Okay. So now that you're all decided, <laughs> I've decided who is going to be who. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are free to go about your business. Wait. But you need to choose who's. I did. You have to tell them that they're that. I did. <laughs> I thought you said that you did. I haven't chosen the detective. Let's say but that. Don't worry. Uh, I'm the narrator. Okay. 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 <laughs> Always about, trust me. Go about your business. Go. Go. See, you'd be good if you were <laughs> the You can look at the clock for 11.55. Direction, he came down with us, went up the stairs and reported it. No one followed her, so the only person- We don't know that no one followed her. But we because would have seen whoa. somebody because we were right the here, that's the problem. Here. So, that was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's- There's no one following her. Do, what's that? What am I I just- I don't realize you guys just left her because one it doesn't make sense. You need to keep him from killing people. I'll go with, if you want to give me a buddy, I'll go with that. I just, it doesn't. You know, if one of us gets attacked here, besides Caswell, I need to use it on Yeah, yeah, for sure. No! But we only have two tackers, probably. Since this is already You guys? Yeah. Okay. Both of you! Man, the sermon today at church was. Like, there wasn't a sermon, but it was. Like, it was really good. Um, so he started off like being like John 3.16 and it was like, okay, cool. This is what every, every Christian and non-Christian knows. And that's cool. Uh, but then he started going into, then he kind of, I don't know, he was straight about there and started talking about like the love of God and stuff. And there was, he brought up like the story about how the song was written, his favorite song, and like there's a specific lyric. And it was really cool talking about the love of God. And then he had the whole church a cappella sing the song. And then he got to the lyric he wanted, and he started like, this wasn't in a sermon, but he started preaching about it, and he was actually like crying because he was just so grateful and in awe. It was so cool. Um, so then he was like, he said he wasn't sure whether 
he should like talk about a story or dump straight into the sermon. And then he's like, okay, we're actually going to try something different. I feel led to ask uh, if anyone else would come. Um, if anyone else has anything to say. And then for like the next 20 minutes, different people would stand up where they're at and talk. And there's like this, like one that actually got me to tears was this gentleman, an older gentleman who his wife, his sister, all his blood relatives have died and moved on to the next part of life, uh, to uh, into heaven, and how that can be disheartening, but like, how great is the love of God in, like, his, yeah, I don't know, it was, it was really cool, that had me in tears, and in the end, uh, he just said, remember, we're not going to go into the, uh, sermon at all, and we'll do a bit more of this, and then he did a call to the altar, which I never done before, uh, I did it, but I was kind of, uh, his prayer and stuff didn't really, uh, impact me, because I was still kind of unfamiliar, and like, oh, I'm, I'm on my knees, I'm in front of the altar with everyone else, people are crying, it's like, ah. but it was definitely felt like the Holy Spirit and stuff move in that room, and it's kind of crazy, it was really cool. I don't know why. I've got happy tears. Uh, I went to Fred Meyer. Well, I have my... I don't know. I just was listening to, like, emotional music. But I just was kind of, like, happy. And then there was a homeless guy on the side. And I had my granola bars from last time. So I ran out and... Well, I couldn't park there, so I parked, and it's a Sunday, so there's a ton of people at Fred Meyer. But I parked far away, and I ran all the way down, and I gave him the things, and he was like, God bless you, and it was like super nice. And then I, it was so much fun uh, going around and shopping and seeing what I wanted to get him. That, that, that was really cool. I ended up getting him strawberries in a... Zero, uh, dr uh, zero drink. I wanted to get him bananas, but I didn't know if he'd eat them all, and I didn't want him to feel like he had to eat them. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just, I'm just happy, happy tears. Uh, I don't know. I just feel very like I don't know the word. I don't know. I'll listen to some more music. I think I want to give David a hug when I get back. I think that would be a fun thing to do. You might tense up, but I'm gonna give him a hug. If I remember, I'll tell you how that goes.